I get to use my pyromancer. I get to use her. All right, all right, look, 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 look. Here's what we're gonna do. All right, decent start, actually. I'm going to go ahead and go with a nice um, spike shield situation here. Um, I mean, why as well go with the double sword along with getting a little bit of a regeneration as well. Should be pretty solid. I love this class so much. Love this class so much. So freaking much. Okay. The ranger situation going with a hero sword already off the back. I wish I was you because I definitely need to get a hero sword as well. Um, but that's an easy win. <laughs> it's definitely an easy win though. Good game. Getting a cap of resilience on the second round. Very, very interesting. Definitely getting the space here. Um... Actually, I want to look at something real quickly. So, the sun armor, right, is pretty much healing because it uses one of your heat for healing, and it also removes debuffs, which is really, really good. Now, I heard someone tell me that the sun armor and vampiric armor were made for each other, apparently, all right? They were made for each other, which I, I, I suppose makes sense since this one's converting your health into block you know what i mean and then you just get your health right back from using the sun armor you know what i mean a little, a little interesting I'm, I'm trying to cook up it maybe i could do like i don't know i don't know the, the braids the braids is moving it piqued my interest because of my whole vampiric armor and moon shield love all right piqued my interest so i was considering getting this but if i need block now i could easily just go for a flute which can also just give me the block that i would need right um but at the same time you know let's try it actually let's try it let's try it i'm down to try it let's try it i don't have enough money to get this um so i'm just gonna get it next round likewise i could get myself a banana just so i can buy something with my six gold because i got a lot of gold actually you know no 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 no. we could save this we're getting what 15 next round okay we could just buy our leather armor and a cap next round we're not gonna have a space for the leather armor though Oh, I still want to buy you. Do, do I buy you now or do I buy you later? I could just buy you later. I don't really need to buy you now. Right? Like, I, I could just... I could just buy you later. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to just buy you later. I'm going to get the banana now, though. Just to make the banana sma uh, uh, faster. Hey, Loco. <clears throat> How's it going? Going against a Reaper. Looks like they're going for the shovel poison build situation. Should win, more than likely. Just because Pyromancer is awesome. Good game. Oh, there's the whetstone. I'm actually happy I did not get that armor now. Um, Let's go ahead and set this up in a way like that. Do I keep the healing herb on me? I actually don't know. You know what's kind of crazy? With the wording? <laughs> healing herb heals one health per every two seconds. But that two seconds doesn't get faster with heat. But the banana also heals. But the banana gets faster with heat. You guys ever notice that? Am I the only one? Maybe I'm the only one. But this doesn't scale. Wow, this one does. <laughs> just because of the wording. You know? This... You know what I mean? It's, it's just... It's pretty interesting. Seeing the little things like that. I think I'm gonna sell you now. Just so I can put me a flame down. Give me some space. I don't know what I need of the rest of that. Um... But yeah, we definitely need to get ourselves another wet stone because I want to get that, that fire sword. He's got a lot more heat than I do. Interesting. We got double DPS along with the spike shields. They got garlic, but we got banana. We should be able to win this one. Um, unless we run out of stamina, which I mean, we're out of stamina even with our banana on the play. But at the same time, spike shields probably want us that, honestly. I'm pretty sure spike shields want us that. Let's look at it. Look at the little damage dealt. Oh, spikes was only 21. Never mind. I mean, it did help. Definitely helped a lot, but I thought it was going to be the, the biggest amount of damage there, to be honest. Um, Let's go ahead and get the space, like we said, so we can put more heat on the play. I could get myself another banana, which will help, you know what I mean, with that uh, survivability plus stamina situation we're running into right now. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, And I'll also get myself a blueberries. And we'll roll here for more space. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Not too bad, to be honest. What's better here? Having this extra flame or 
blue. I think the blue berries would probably be better there. Just to make it faster. Make it 10% faster. Because one flame is 2% faster versus 10% faster of having a whole other um, food item there. You know what I mean? Oh, this one's close. He's got a double bow and arrow. Oh, yeah. We definitely lose this one. Yeah. Damn. That's okay, though. That's okay. One L is not the end of the day, right? Let's go ahead and get that other whetstone and roll. Oh, there goes that leather armor again. I feel like we... Nah, nah, I'll be... Uh, do I get it? Do I get the leather armor situation? I actually don't know. Um... Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? Just for the vampiric armor? It would be a good combination though, I'm not even gonna lie. Vampiric armor plus sun shield or sun armor? Cause this is healing you for more than more health than you're losing here. Right? So this pretty much is just gonna give you a shit ton of block. <laughs> Essentially, right? And then this is just gonna give you a shit ton of healing. You know what I mean? So it's a little interesting. A little interesting. How much block does the flute give me? Let me look at the flute real quick. Just to see how much block this flute is able to give me the flute gives you 14 it is random but it also gives you stamina and the clovers hmm. i think i'm gonna go with the flute I, th I think i'm gonna save my space and go with the flute instead i will get this draconic orb though i will get this that'll help me out with the removing of um of, of spikes and also mana orb would also be good for my class item that i'm going to be getting versus trying to rely on the blueberry for that mana generation. One orb is pretty much all it takes. It's a little bit interesting though. I, I, I don't know which one would be better, the orb or the blue, or the blueberry, now that I'm thinking about it. But anyways, going against a goober here. He's got healing on his side, but we got DPS on our side. Um, along with healing, but he doesn't have that many activations. He's just got the sword. And he's going for a steel goober, which is very interesting. Not sure why at all. But there's that. Um, let's go ahead and get that burning sword situation. We only got eight money. Um, I'm just gonna get the draconic orb, get it now versus later. Do a little situation like that. So that's touching that. Okay, that looks solid. I think all of this is pretty. Yeah, I think all this is pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm, not, I'm actually just gonna turn that back how I like, had it. But yeah, I think all that's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Going against, okay, a goober with Fortuna's Hope plus the Tuscan Poker. An <laughs> attacker, Tuscan Poker. Instead of Piercer, that's funny. Um, So far, so good. On the bright side, because this generates you, yeah, this, this gives you Pierce, which I'm turning the piece from the heat, which is really good. That way I'm not taking damage from the spike situation. We almost lost that, by the way. But yeah, that was that was actually a pretty solid setup for us. But now we have the Burning Sword. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this because next round I'm getting my class item, which is gonna generate even more heat for us. Um, don't really. Do I want a ruby egg? Ruby egg could be interesting. Honestly, ruby egg is like essentially. Um, like a low key another version of the phoenix. Low key. I mean, the phoenix is definitely way better. You know what I mean? But it is on sale. I could just not get the Phoenix and literally just get the Ruby Egg. Nah, I like the Phoenix. I like the Phoenix. We're sticking with the Phoenix. I like the Phoenix. Um, should I give me a box of riches? Oh, should I get me a box of riches? I th think I pass on a box of riches for now. Oh, there's a chili. Yes, yeah, sell the banana. And instead, we're getting the chili for more heat. Um, roll again. Oh, what? Hold up. Because I had no clue how to make this item. I've always wanted to make the item. I had no clue how to make it. But apparently, it's the whetstone that you use to make it. Okay. In that case, I'm going to get me another whetstone. I might 
It, we're probably gonna run out of stamina here, honestly. I just wanna test things right now. But I should probably just go ahead and sell this wooden sword. But then again, at the same time, it does increase its DPS each time it reaches five heat. That's what the burning sword does. So I do have two different forms of DPS and they're both DPS scaling. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, let's buy you. Let's get you a little bit more space. Never hurt anybody. I would love a flute. Could also upgrade you. I don't really need the blueberries anymore. Right? Unless I use it for clovers, which can help with critting. So maybe I do need the blueberries still. Where am I putting you? I'll put you over there. That works, that works, that works. Yeah, this will work. There we go. That's enough activations, I think. Um, I could also do that for more activations. Hey, dude, how's the new stuff? Your health, your health and the job interview. Job interview went well, I believe. I gotta call them back though. So I'm gonna do that. Um, health is getting way better. I still got myself like a little bit of a cough, but it's not horrible. You know what I mean? And the new items in the game are absolutely amazing. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely freaking lutely amazing, okay? I cannot stress that enough. They did a phenomenal job. Um, I'm gonna sell one of these flames, I think, just so I can get myself a corrupted crystal for the cap of discomfort. Awesome times through, hell yeah. <laughs> Going against a ranger. They chose Mega Clover. They also got Tuscan Poker, which is good for us. Um, I do want a flute of my own. We should be able to beat this guy, though. He has no DPS scaling at all, unlike us. So, um, yeah, <laughs> should definitely be able to beat them. We're running out of stamina now, though, so I'm going ahead and just sell that wooden sword. I don't really need it anymore. I do want to get myself another whetstone, though. 100% would love to get myself another whetstone. And I might as well just get that for space. Um, Don't need anything there. Oh, here we go. Burning blade. Hell yeah. Give me a goober now, please. Game. Goober, please. That's all I need. Yeah, I need that. I need that. I need this. I need the chili goober. We might lose this. Holy crap. They got molten spear along with the molten dagger. They have mana generation for their friendly fire to gain even more heat. But both of these are using up heat though. So they're not going to be as fast as us. However, they do have double DPS generation and they're not even using their chili goober like they have no activations on the chili goober They would be a lot stronger with activations on that chili goober. I'm Baffled that they chose not to get activations on that chili goober. That is insane But now we have the burning blade, which is absolutely amazing um Let's see here getting another corrupted crystal on sale is kind of crazy um, I'm gonna buy it just because it's on sale to roll here. There goes the Phoenix. There goes the Phoenix. That's exactly what I need right there. Exactly what I need. Um, I guess I could put you right there. I don't mind. Actually, no, because I need you right there for the activations, though. Well, actually, no, I just need you right there for inactivation. Um, honestly, you can just go like that so I can put everything like that all right that's good still got my activators on that you know what? i might just switch this because this is every 2.5 seconds wow this is every 3.5 seconds so i think i'm just gonna switch this around in a way um how should i do this i guess like that but i, I don't know i guess those two stars it was it 10% faster. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine 100% fine. Oh, look at this guy Rob the ranger. You're not playing on a ranger. He's got the axe plus a ripshaw blade a little bit of forge situation going Got some chance to resist some poison some coldness Once that battle rage comes through though That's gonna be very dangerous for us Because our only heat generation realistically is friendly fire and this this increases in DPS, but it, as soon as that battle rage comes, there it is. So he's going to take uh, less damage, but he doesn't have enough stamina to keep up with that uh, that increase in attack speed, though. 
So we'll take that one. Oh, there goes the flute. Let's go ahead and get this fire phoenix. I'm gonna get some space reserved to flute as well. Finer phoenix is gonna go there. So yeah. Um, so my burning blade is increasing the DPS at the fire phoenix, which is pretty much just another version of DPS and It'll help me survive longer. Just in case I do die, I'll just come back to life. I'm mainly using it as another form of DPS, though. So I'm not planning on dying and having to come back to life. But just in case that happens to happen, you know, we'll be fine. I wonder if this is better. Just move it over by one. That way I can have more slots on uh, the friendly fire here. We'll take it like that. It's so weird. I've been playing for over 200 hours of this, but now I don't know what's happening with anything. It, it's it's safe. Everyone's going through the same thing right now. 100%. I, I completely agree. You got to learn the entire game back over, it seems. Good game, good game, good game. And we'll be taking that one. Oh, got that on sale. Now, the Dijon lamp is a little bit interesting. That's one of the things I want. Because I want to proc this Dejin lamp just in case the battle goes on for a longer period of time. And to do that, the Dejin lamp pretty much gives me everything I need anyway, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but the flute is what I'm going to be using to get that block. And I'm going to put it on the Phoenix. Now, we don't generate a lot of heat because we need this guy to generate a bunch of heat. We weren't we didn't get lucky to to find a uh to find a goobert so we're gonna have to figure out our heat generation situation quick because without that heat generation situation that is a scary scary thing um what do we got five i'm gonna buy should i get the dj lamp now i mean i could it's not gonna activate but i guess the clovers could help with critting at least you know and then the mana generation for the friendly fire i'm gonna get it now just because i can reserve both of those um and i'll go with that Hi, the most confusing part is seeing a normal ass reaper <laughs> like this where he's got no new items just straight up just a normal ass reaper doesn't even have the poison goober inside the death side <laughs> oh my god good game good game good game Okay, buy you, buy you. Let me get some space. Beautiful. Let's, I want that too. Let's sell, I guess we could just sell two heat at this point. And it fits perfectly in there. All that can go in there. I guess it's final for me. And we'll just go with this. We'll just go with that. What is it? Very inter interesting. Just got a Fortuna's Hope with double torch. And a bunch of pineapples, which is good for us because that's going to help us generate heat. Either way, pretty interesting build they got going on here. I'm pretty sure we're going to beat this guy. Because <laughs> he's, he's only got double torch and a Fortuna's Hope. That's it. Yep, game over. <laughs> Boom. Might as well buy you. Um, we could go box of riches now. To get some jewel slots. And oh, we could go sun shield. Ooh, we should probably go sun shield as well. It's expensive, but I'ma do it. I'm gonna go sun shield. Forgot about sun shield. Oh, here we go. There's a reaper with a cauldron. Lots of food. And a little bit of poison. Lots and lots of food, though. Okay. Let's see how this goes with all this food you got going on. It's going to be putting a shit ton of poison on us. Um, probably going to rely on the demonic flask to deal that damage whenever those proc. If they proc, they don't proc. <laughs> Good game. What does the sun shield do? The sun shield, I, I, um, I don't have it unlocked, but it's just... Star... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it deals damage. Is it actually deals damage? I just realized that. My brain. Okay, so star items gain 10 block, deal four damage. Will the sun come up tomorrow? No, it won't. We're all fucked. But yeah, that's pretty much what this does. 
which you could combine this with the vampiric armor and just consistently deal damage through the sun shield that could be kind of interesting i would love to see a sun shield build of sorts i think i'm gonna try that but yeah that's what it does we got 16. i'm gonna just do this sell the spike shield so i can give me a little bit of space put that in there get myself a sun armor and uh this jewel can honestly just go anywhere do not care where it goes I guess that works for me. I guess we can get the regular amethyst too. You know? So someone is going to be attacking in the yin yang fit. Yes, precisely. Oh, look at this guy's build. Hold up. So he's got sun shield, but this doesn't generate block. This heals you. But since he's starting off with 70 block already, um, this is going to activate seven times. Was that 7, 14, 28? So it's going to be doing 28 damage off the rip. And he's also got the Phoenix. That's pretty interesting. He's got a lot of DPS. He's got two Molten Spears plus the Burning Blade and a Molten Spear. Interesting. Molten Spear doesn't... It's not really doing much, but my concern is probably his Burning Blade increasing the DPS on the Molten Daggers plus the Molten Daggers themselves increase their DPS. Uh, but he doesn't have any mana in order to generate heat from his Friendly Fire. And his friendly fire, besides the, you know, the burning blaze also going to be generating that, uh, that heat. But I don't think it's going to generate enough heat. Because this is using up heat. This is, both of the molten daggers are using up heat. Um, interesting. I say we, I, I, I'm feeling confident. I'm definitely feeling confident in the build right now. Because we just donate more heat, which means our items are going to be faster than his items. And look at that, 44 critical right there. That's just from our Phoenix alone. 38 critical. And then and the DPS is just going to keep climbing from there. 50 critical. Plus my sword and everything. He's got his health potions, but it's just not going to be enough. Close battle, though. To be fair, I didn't think it was going to be this close. But that was a good game. Good game, good game. Now, we have our sun armor, which pretty much heals us essentially and it also removes debuffs which is the main reason why i'm using it um put that one there let's roll this i'm mad i didn't get a goober this entire time that's what i really really want i wonder if i could just like w key one real quick i will get that though i will get that let's roll again nothing eh um I'm gonna roll again. Damn it. <laughs> Give me a goober. That's fine. That's fine. Let's put you. Let's put you right here next to this food. That works for me. Okay. Okay. This guy's using a flame whip, though, which only hit uses one pierce to gain three heat and deal plus six damage. He doesn't have any pineapples or anything, so he's not gonna be getting any pierce. So it's practically useless, right? No? Well, he, never mind. He's got the Whopper Tinger. So that's, this is probably going to be his Pierce Generator. Plus all the heat making these a lot faster. Okay. So that's where you're getting your Pierce from, huh? Okay. Okay. This will be interesting. All right. Let's see. Yeah, let's see this one. Let's see this one pan out. So boom. Whopper Tingers are going to activate. Boom, he gains his heat. He's gonna hit me, gaining even more heat, right? And he's got a lot more heat generation than I do too. Look at that. He's already at 32, 33, 35. He's climbing up there for sure. But it seems like we're hanging in there. Even though his items are definitely faster, but... Ooh, barely hanging in there. We're barely hanging in there. We're like going back and forth now. Woo! No, that's actually bad. That's actually really, really bad. No, he reached a 100. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we actually won. I thought he had a Phoenix. That's why I said, I was, wow. The fact that we, ha we had to reincarnate through our Phoenix to come back to life to kill this guy. This is actually a pretty strong build 87 he even got up to 80 jesus you look like a goober thank you <laughs>
this was actually a pretty solid build. I'm not even gonna lie. Getting the getting the pierce from the bunnies, right? Instead of relying on like pineapples or something. I wonder if pineapples would have been better. But then you won't be you wouldn't be able to get the uh, the other buffs or whatnot. Pretty interesting. But yeah, getting the um the spikes from here and utilizing the flame whip for it just to get more and more and more heat. And then once you reach that 80 heat, boom, you take that uh 100 damage. And then you also got the healing from the sun armor. Um the block from that. This is a solid, this was a solid build. I'm not even gonna lie. I gotta I gotta save this one. We're saving this one. We're saving that one. I'm saving that one for for a rainy day. That was a solid build. Kudos to that guy. I am impressed. Honestly. Um don't really want anything there. I could use the extra space, I guess. Since we got money anyways, we might as well. I could get a second uh, sun armor. Just add double healing on there. <laughs> um, should I? Uh, I think I'm gonna pass on it. Gain one pierce and heal for three. Nah. Roll. Roll. Dang. Did not get what I wanted at all. Um. I wonder if our lamp is proccing. I feel like eventually it would. Getting a second lamp will be nice, though. So I'm gonna get that second lamp. I feel like getting a second lamp can help. At least a little bit. Pretty. Oh, this guy's got a similar build to the last guy we went against. Except this person's got a phoenix. He's also got Burning Sword. Very similar to our build, actually. Very, 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 very similar. But Jesus Christ, look how fast he's building his heat. What am I missing? Is it because you started off with so much more heat than me, or... Or no? Very interesting, though. Oh, we might lose this one. We might lose this one. Whoever's uh, whoever's Phoenix procs first is the loser. I mean, he's generating more heat than us, but we have more health than him, which means I, I guess we're dealing more damage or whatnot. Did we proc? Did we proc? I don't think we procced. So there goes his Phoenix proc. Ours is still up there, but we're not gonna get as much health because we not we don't have that much heat as him. But boom, there goes our proc. Max health now. <laughs> it's like round two. <laughs> Essentially fucking round two. I wonder why our DJ lamp is proccing. It's probably because of the spikes. But what is removing our spikes? Because when we're gaining them, you're getting removed from all oh, from the Digicronic Orb. interesting so if you're going against another uh pyromancer more than likely go they're going to have a draconic orb on the on their play right oh uh, but that sucks when it comes to the dj lamp interesting so yeah i definitely need to have two dj lamps because this is every 3.5 seconds this is every two seconds so it can out technically it can outpace you know because we did have two it's not like they were outpacing us unless they have two draconic orbs and then you're fucked, right? But interesting though. That was a good game. That was a really good game. I'm gonna cop you. I'm also gonna get the glowing crown for that invulnerability situation. That could be nice. Um, should I get a fanfare? Cause I can easily just sell this banana. I don't really need the banana anymore. Kinda. So I didn't get a fan for or get a flute. I'd get the fanfare just for that mana gain, which can be used on a friendly fire. And then the empowerment is good too. But this for the block. And the clovers and the stamina. I think I'm just gonna get the fanfare because we already got one flute, right? 
I feel like getting a fanfare is a little bit more important, to be honest. Where do I want to put you? Right here? That works. Right there works for me. All right, cool. All right, that's the build. That's the build. Okay, let's see what we're going against. On the bright side, we're not going against another Pyromancer, so we're not going to get our piercing removed, which is really good. So we might actually be able to proc the Phoenix this time. The bad problem is the fact that this is a Crossblaze, which is extremely strong, and he used the 10 damage and put that on the Tuscan Poker. All right, he's also got the piercing arrow situation. He's got a short bow, Fortuna's bow. So he's going to be using up a lot of stamina. He doesn't have any stamina generation other than both of the bananas. Um, so, I mean, Whopper Tinger as, as well. But it's not like he's gaining a lot of buffs or anything like that. Yes, <laughs> I read it all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Um, Whopper kind of sounds unreliable, but I still don't understand it. I think it's kind of reliable. I, I, I'm assuming you're referring to that Thorn Whip build. Um, it pretty much you gain three buffs of the ones you have least of and since the thorn whip is always going to be using your pierce to gain heat um, You're always going to be getting that 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 spikes back So you're consistently gaining spikes and then you're also just getting a byproduct of the two other buffs, which is nice um, So yeah, what does lamp make uh, and use mana spikes yellow? Yeah, so the DJ lamp it, you gain one luck one spikes or one uh one mana depending on which one you have the least of um and then it uses all three of those plus block to give the 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 weapon 27 damage so it's generating pretty much everything you would need except the block and i'm getting the block from the flute plus all the heat i'm generating makes these a lot faster and having two of them helps my helps it pretty much just generate and and um gets it faster we got the mana orb here for mana generation by itself as well which is good so the only thing these are realistically going to be generating is the spikes and the clovers and then boom proc damage right that's the plan at least that's the plan this guy's got a pretty decent build as well though and it looks like he went the pet route with him having a power puppy here which is interesting dragon skin boost okay let's see how this pans out i i, I think we're stronger i honestly think we're stronger to be honest but Crossblaze is very scary, to be fair. They're very scary. So far, so good, though. And our our um, our um Phoenix has brought the proc. We just need two more. Yep. And then as soon as that flute procs and give us that block, whenever it wants to. Oh, we lost all the mana because of the glowing crown. But it, sh it should be fine. It should still be fine. Boom. And it proc 52 to 52, 57 damage. And the game is just over. <laughs> It's just over. We'll just take that one. We'll take that one home. <laughs> Bro, the new builds are just stronger than like all of the previous builds. I'm not going to see a, a single Bloodthorn anymore. I'm not seeing a single Bloodthorn. That was a good game though. I don't know. Whopper gave buffs based on the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all the buffs based on the least. And on top of that, it increases your stamina generation by 0.7 for each buff you have. So the more buffs you have, the more stamina you're going to generate. Honestly, this could be good in my build because I'm going to have a shit ton of heat. However, the byproduct of having a shit ton of heat, your weapons that use stamina aren't going to be able to attack like that. Like they're going to be they're going to be bottlenecked through their attack speed. So you see right here, my stamina was a 3.5, which means I wasn't bottlenecked. Um, and this was attacking every 0.9 seconds. So. There has been times where I would get like 80 heat, 100 heat or whatnot, and then this is just out of stamina, out of stamina, out of stamina. So getting like a shit ton of heat, combining it with the Whopper Tinger can help that a lot. You know what I mean? The by, the, the byproduct is getting a weapon that doesn't use stamina like this guy. This doesn't use stamina. That why, that's why I increased the damage with Degen Lamp, it's just so I could do 54 to 59 damage every 1.42 seconds. And it's getting faster because of the heat, doesn't use stamina. And everything's a W. You see, it did 352 damage right there, which is pretty freaking nuts. Pretty freaking nuts. Um, had an ad, but how big of a win streak can you have? You can have as, as big of a win streak as you want to have. If, you, if you're good enough, you know. Me, personally, no. But, yeah. Um, what are the small bows? Um, 